I just truly believe there's people out here, out there, who will love my music and who can identify with my music. I'm a mother and I'm excited about that. I am so excited about that. I'm a worshiper. Because I'm focused and I'm, I'm like, you know what? This is me. Take it or leave it. Love me, hate me, it's all good. I'm a poet. I'm an MC. I'm a musician. Because this is how God created me. This is the music God has given me to create. Like it, don't like it. It's okay. If you don't like it, someone else will. I say it a lot. I say my music is an EMS truck transporting people to the ultimate surgeon. And that's true. Um, I make life music. All for God's glory. My main desire is that people will listen to the music that I've been blessed to pin and it will give them clarity, clarity where they are, clarity where they can go, clarity of who they can go to, regardless of the environment, regardless of um, whatever the form, be it through rap, be it through spoken word, it all has the same purpose. You feel me? So I just pray that something I write, something I say, something I sing will bless the listener and let them know, you know what, you're not in this alone and everything will be okay. You feel me? Yeah. I really just write from my heart and I write what's in there. I hear melodies, I hear song concepts. It's not even necessarily the normal 16, eight bar hook. You know, it's not the typical song form. I just write how God gives it to me. People have tried to break me, but I'm still here. I've been hurt. I've been healed <laughs> and it's taken me so long to get to the point where I can say I am beautiful I'm beautiful <laughs> and y'all don't understand some for some of you that was that's easy for you to say if you listen to my lyrics You'll learn a whole lot about me because I put it all in there. I've never been able to keep a diary. It's like I'll start writing for like a few days and then I'll fall off. But my music has always been there. So all you have to do is listen and it's all right there. I'm finally at a point and I'm in a place. Thank you, Jesus where I know it is okay to be me. For so long, I've been made to feel like I need to put myself on the back burner. Not that I didn't matter, but I didn't matter as much as other people. I didn't matter as much as my kids, as much as, you know, I didn't matter. So I had to always put me on the back burner and the things that I enjoyed, the things that made me feel great about myself were secondary. And I'm finally at a point, I'm finally in a position right now where I am okay and I feel like, I don't feel like I'm being selfish by loving me. I don't feel like I'm being selfish by accentuating me 
<laughs> you know, it's like, I can love me. I can do what I enjoy. I can be authentically me. I can be bold. You know what I mean? And this is a big step for me and I'm loving it. Some people are, are they feel funny when I say I'm a weirdo. It's all good. <laughs> I am, and I embrace that. There's no one on earth like me, no one. And I think that's the dopest thing ever. It is. <laughs> so I put the exclamation point in place of the I because I'm not hiding anymore. Mask off, this is me. I am Kim Pratt. Wow. Come on this journey with me. It's, it's going to be pretty dope. Pretty dope.